Hello? Hello? Oh. Ronald! Hello, Ronald, can you hear me? Ronald? Oh, great. Windows don't open. Are you kidding me? Hello? Excuse me? <sighs> Ronald? Are you listening to me? I want you to pull this car over right now. Sorry, ma'am. Traffic conditions make that impossible. Oh, let's just cut all through that right now, okay? Now, tell me who you are and where you're taking me. You'll know when we get there. Hey, in the meantime, might I respectfully suggest that you sit back and enjoy the ride. Well, might I suggest... Ronald, listen! Put her... Ronald! Tempestuous, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's what you'd call it. But, you know, it's over now. I mean, as you said before, he's a married man. That's about as over as it gets. At least that's what we hope. But, you know, I mean, Brenda, she took a lot of hard knocks when they broke up. I mean, don't misunderstand me. I love Brenda. But when she's on the rebound, she doesn't always make the best possible choices, which is why I don't want you dancing all over her heart in the name of some sort of macho ego trip. Why would I do that? Tell me about your connection to Sonny. It's like he said, history. Bensonhurst, you know, that would be like Melbourne to you. We were old friends. And then we became new business partners, which was really dumb because that made us temporary enemies. But now we're friends again, you know, although a little more cautiously on my part. Oh, yeah, that was very smooth of you. Very smooth the way you deflected the conversation back to me. I guess you like that technique, huh? It works for you. Well, you know what? Not me. I don't give up that easy. Oh, that makes two of us. Okay, so what's the big idea of you jetting Brenda off to Ireland for oysters? Huh? I mean, what is this, like, standard operating procedure? Like to pull out your little toys to impress women or you happen to play with planes? If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were jealous. <sighs> In your dreams. Most definitely in my dreams. You didn't answer my question. Brenda asked to go. I saw no reason to turn her down. I enjoy Brenda. Is there something wrong with her? Not for now. But watch out. I'm not kidding. She's my best friend in the whole world. Yep. Jealous. <laughs> I love it. One more time around the block, okay? But this time, you gotta stick with me, right? Well, I'll certainly give it my best shot. Okay. I like you. I think you're certifiable, but I like you. You came through for me in such a major way, and for that, I will be eternally grateful. And I sincerely hope that we can remain friends. Very good friends. What works for me, so far? Okay. See, that's the point where you start to dummy up on me. So do me a favor, okay? Don't. Friendship is all you're going to get out of me. And it's not something I give away that easily, all right? I know that that's not what you want. But it's all I can offer to you. Well, would you consider having a mad, passionate love affair with a really good friend? <sighs> no. Jax. No, I think I'm more insane about you than ever. Oh, and, uh, by the way, I won't hold you to that, uh, friends is all speech. You'll thank me one day. earlier and he said something about the mysterious limo. What happened to you? Sunny happened. 
Oh, holy Toledo, I knew it. See, that's right. Then he sabotaged my trip. Can you believe, mister? I'm so happily married to Lily. Went through all that time and trouble for no other reason than to keep me away from another man. Isn't it great? Um, sorry. Am I missing something here? It's working. Sonny can't stand the fact that another man wants me, especially someone as utterly fabulous as Jax. Can you prove that Sonny did this? No, I don't need to prove it. I'm not taking him to court. I know he did it. And apparently you know something too, don't you? Hmm? Sonny was here earlier. He was? Oh, he was acting really weird like he had some sort of secret or something. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to go over there and I'm going to give him exactly what I just gave you. I mean, I was pretty convincing in my anger, right? It impressed me. I was practicing. Okay. All right, look, I'm going to have to ask you a question here. I know it's a really stupid question, but just let me do it, okay? Okay. Could you just let this go? I mean, otherwise, you're going to be in one upsmanship with Sonny from now into the millennium. <laughs> of course I can't let it go. Are you kidding me? This is perfect. I am going to milk this for everything that it's worth. This is Charles Gibson. And Joan London. Tomorrow, our series on fearless aging continues with sex and the aging baby. It's so easy to push his buttons. Are you going to do what now? Point that out to him? I'm going to go over there and I'm going to ask him, since he says he's letting go, why is he pulling stunts like this? And I'm going to make him tell me. Tell you what? That he's as hung up on you as you are on him? I mean, don't the two of you get it? You're both so still so crazy about each other that, that every time you say you're letting go, you actually hold on a little tighter. I mean, if you, you can't make love, you're going to settle for making each other crazy. Exactly. <laughs> Brenda. What? All right, what do you suggest that I do? No. Yes, yes. <laughs> Calm down. Engage your brain. And stop mixing it up with Sonny. You want me to calm down? This is the man I love. He came to me and told me that he loves me, and then two seconds later, he turned around and married another woman. Now, I realized that it was to save himself. Yeah, and? So I accepted that. R right. Right. I let him know that I would play a quiet part in his life just to stay as close to him as I could. What are you saying? That you would be his mistress? I am saying that I told him that we could work something out and that he wasn't into it. And now he's turning around and trying to interfere into my life and dictate who I see and when and where I see them. So I'm going to go call him on this, and I cannot wait. Brenda, I just... Listen, I'm, are you going to move, or do I have to go through you? I'll go through yet. <laughs> Good luck. 